Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video and in this one we are gonna play some corny locations around the world. The map that we're gonna be playing is called An Amazing World of Corn made by an amazing content creator called Cinnamonique. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Go and check him out. The play along links will be in the description as well if you wanna play along. And let's go. Good luck everyone. What do we have? Well, as, as, the, as the title suggests, um, all the locations will contain corn. <laughs> But the, the location selection is really good. Locations are all official all around the world. Just the way that, that I like it. The maps uh, for the maps to be. And we have some doggos as well, apparently. Which which is always a nice a nice bonus. These poles. These these poles uh, look very much like Chilean poles to me. With these kind of triangular poles with no horizontal dividing sections. All white road lines, white Google car, mountains... All good uh, signs this might be Chile. By the way, if you enjoy these play along videos, press that like button as well. It really supports the channel, and I do appreciate it. So, in Chile, so where would this be? This looks kind of green-ish, actually. Might even be south of Santiago, maybe. Not too much, maybe something like Taika. I don't know, my, my guess would be maybe somewhere there. Oh, wow, it was a, a bit north of Santiago. Okay, I mean, it wasn't too far, but okay. Lost a thousand points there. Rectory farm. What is that? What does rectory mean? I'll be honest, I'm not sure. English isn't my first language, as you probably know. Uh, yellow back plate. Yellow, well, yellow back plate right on the left side. This would be UK. Also, we have these bollards you get in UK. And interestingly enough, in Indonesia. I don't know why those two countries in particular, but those two countries have these types of bollards. I wouldn't go too far north here, just by the vibes, general feeling. Let's go here. Not bad, not bad, okay. Let's keep going, let's keep going. What does this feel like? Are we driving on the left side here? We are driving on the left side, what? First I was thinking this would be South America, but not with driving on the left side. Would this be Thai, uh, Thailand? I think this would be Thailand with these square poles with holes. Reddish soil, um, I, we don't see any language to verify. And here, of course, here is the corn. Well, I don't point out the corn every time, but there is corn in every location. So if you're a big fan of corn, you can maybe try to tell the types of corn apart or something. Let's guess somewhere, uh, I don't know, here-ish. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so doing pretty good, actually. What is next? We have these bollards. Usually you get this red, uh, more red reflector in Slovenia, and in Austria usually they are darker, but I think this would be Austria this time, based on this sign. I think this um, directional sign feels very Austrian to me, I think. And, oh, and we have the domain. <laughs> okay, we have the domain name as well. These, these Austrian bollards are really interesting, because this little, little thingy on top, in winter, you can pull it out, and it becomes a snow pole. So if it's snowy, like it pulls out, and then I'll leave a picture on, on the screen, looks really interesting. So that's a fun, fun bollard fact for you. Uh, very mountainous looking, so possibly more western. I don't think we could see anything on that sign, right? Yeah, it's, it's a bit too far to see, but let's guess somewhere here-ish, it's, it's quite hilly there. Okay, a bit more south, but still, a good score, good score. Now, would this be Indonesia or Malaysia? Do we have uh, front plates on the motorcycles? I think we do. Now, where in Indonesia would this be? Because in Indonesia you get front plates on motorcycles, in Malaysia you don't. Um, these roofs. You, get, you can get these kind of crossing beams in uh, South Sulawesi, but I have seen those in Sumatra as well. So... Which one would it be? And these... Oh, these poles remind me of Kalimantan, which is like that is like this area. So I'm kind of very torn here. Very torn here. I think I would go still south uh, Sulawesi. And uh, we have some hills. I mean, most of, most of Indonesia is hilly, so it doesn't help too much. It was Kalimantan. I knew those poles felt like Kalimantan. Uh, very, very, very north. Okay, that makes sense. Let's view the summary. How did we do? 19.6 thousand points for the first game. 
decent, decent, coulda, coulda been better, but uh, I'm still pretty happy with the score. If you play along, let me know in the comments, as always, I always like to read your comments. Did you manage to beat me? Did you not manage to beat me? Let me know, it's always interesting to read. We don't have the front plates here, and I think that looks like an Albertan Bollard there. So, yeah, um, I, Alberta didn't have front plates, right? BC had front plates. If, for, to remember uh, front plates in Canada, you can remember 1457, the, the numbers. So the one being British Columbia has front plates, four is Manitoba, like in order, one, two, three, four. Fourth is Manitoba, fifth is Ontario, and seventh is uh, New Brunswick. So those are the provinces that do have front plates, other ones don't. That's a way to remember uh, which which ones have or, or don't have front plates in uh, Canada. So uh, let's guess Alberta because of that bollard. Uh, maybe a bit more west-ish, closer to the hills. Ah, more north. Oh, very close to Edmonton. Okay, okay. Now, this would be Su uh, Lesotho, right? Has to be. With these very, very rocky mountains with very few trees. Yeah, this has to be pretty much Lesotho with a white car as well, driving on the left side as indicated by this arrow. Arrow basically means you, you need to like, get back to that side. No more overtaking happening here. So let's go to Lesotho. Let's go, let's go. Um, oh gosh, this looks tricky. This looks like the US. Uh, we have some greenhouses. My first thought was somewhere northeast, northeastern US, maybe. Oh, our kids' farm. Speed limit 25, so yeah, speed limit would indicate US. No, oh, as I suspected, but it doesn't help to narrow it down, really. Okay, let's go. Let's go sweet corn tomatoes, good old corn. Let's go maybe a Pennsylvania, maybe northern Pennsylvania. Okay, a bit more east. It was northeast US. I feel like northeast US quite often has that kind of very unique feeling about it. I don't know. Kind of very green, a lot of trees, some hills from time to time. Kind of hard to describe, but it was a pretty good guess. I'm happy with that. Uh, buffet Terrace. Dot at is is this Austria or uh, this definitely looks like Austria. Uh, it might be an Austrian sign. I'm not sure. Lots of corn, but unfortunately we are too far to see either of those signs properly. I think it maybe says Graz because it's a short word, but uh, that's just just a guess. Graz, Graz would be to our east northeast. So let's go here ish. I guess it did say Graz. It was even closer to Graz than I thought. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, round number five. Oh gosh, there really isn't much to go by here. White road lines, antenna, sun is south. Feels kind of Balkan-ish. Um, I'm not sure which country though. I'm kind of leaning maybe Bulgaria, maybe, maybe Romania, maybe. I feel somewhere there. Let's go Bulgaria. Kind of Western Bulgaria in case it's something else. But let's see. It was, oh, it was Bulgaria. Very close to the Romanian border. So how did we do in total? Okay, this is a better score. 21.8 thousand. Also pretty good again. How will we do in the third game? Let's do a, another one. Let's see. Um, okay. We have a sign with no borders. Um, you get signs with no borders in Spain, but this is a French pole. This isn't a typical French sign, that's for sure. But in France, you quite often do see kind of uh, lower signs to the ground. And this one is quite low to the ground. Oh no, but this, this is a Spanish no hunting sign. This is a Spanish no hunting sign. So this is Spain, after all. Okay, so this is a Spanish sign then, with no borders. Interesting, okay, so, hmm. I guess you can get these stops uh, sometimes in Spain as well. I would guess northern Spain then. I would guess northern Spain. Where does it look so green in Spain? It really looks like France. <laughs> so that's why I'm thinking it might be maybe somewhere up, up here near France. Let's see. Ah, oh, it was all the way there west. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. It was Spain though, so I'm happy I got that. 
What is this? This is this Africa. Is this like Ken? Oh, not. I was thinking Kenya, but no, it's Uganda with this car. So the Google car helps the Meta. The Meta. We have some uh, palm trees. Well, in Uganda, the coverage is very, very limited. So basically, if you if you are Uganda, a good chance is that you will be near Kampala. So let's guess there. Mm hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Here we have ooh, interesting road lines. That's the first thing they notice. The bollards. Um, these are New Zealand bollards, the Kiwi bollards. So we are in the New Zealand. New Zealand is one of the few countries which can have yellow solid line with white dashed lines. Other countries being uh, um, Argentina, Uruguay, Finland, and the Philippines also could have this uh, middle line combination. Kiwi poles as well. A lot of cows. I would probably go Northern Ireland, maybe. Hmm, I, maybe. I'm not sure. It's either Northern Ireland or... Would this even be this south, maybe? Should we risk it for the biscuit? Let's risk it for the biscuit. No parking. Let's maybe go Southern. For some reason, I want to go South down here. Let's see. Ah, oh, it was North. <laughs> oh, oh. It was just the Northern Island. It felt, for me, it felt something a bit different, so I guess I was wrong. Well, this would be Japan, because uh, we have these um, yellow, big yellow plates, kind of boxy cars. Also, lower camera, all good clues. And, of course, the language. No phone numbers that I can see. Phone numbers can be helpful. This doesn't feel too north to me. I would maybe go somewhere here, maybe even more south. It was even more south, yeah. Okay, these are some some tricky rounds. Well, I'm getting the country right, but uh, the wrong side of the country. So these are the Austrian bull, as I was talking before, uh, talking about before, with these dark reflectors. So this would be Austria again, with the lovely, lovely cornfields. Now this looks way flatter than we had before. So I would be inclined maybe to go all the way up here near Linz, maybe even. Oh, ooh, very, very east. Okay. 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 Let's see how we did. 18,000 points. 18,000 points here. All in all, I think I did pretty good. Again, let me know in the comments how you did. And on the right side, there will be another play along video I think you will enjoy. Huge thanks to all of the patrons and YouTube members for supporting this channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Be kind to one another and see you all in the next video.